For more on this, Ahmed Kesar joins me live now from Ankara. He's an associate professor of political science and international relations at Hasan Kalyonju University. Professor, it's good to have you on the show. Now, Turkey has become part of an elite club where it's among maybe five countries who can build a fifth generation fighter jet. Walk us through the importance of this. Uh, thank you very much, Efnan Han, uh, for having me, first of all. Uh, of course, uh, I think it is not misleading uh, to evaluate uh, this stage uh, as a historical landmark in the Turkish uh, aviation and defense industry and for global uh, aviation industry as well. Why? Uh, I think we can reach the conclusions by comparing the rivals with Khan as well. Uh, when we look at the fifth generation uh, air fighters, F-35 is one of the uh, frontier spies, uh, ones already uh, which have the flight ability. Uh, when we compare both aircrafts, for example, uh, Khan has double engines, while F-35 has a single engine. And this double engine ability brings Khan uh, more flight range with higher attitude. For example, when we compare the two aircrafts, F-35 can reach to almost 50 to 51,000 feet height altitude, while Khan uh, has the ability of flying uh, at the 55,000 feet altitude. So uh, almost uh, two kilometers uh, more than uh, F-35. And also uh, the speed. Uh, when we look at F-35, for example, it can fly with 1.6 Mach speed, uh, it's with speed sound while Khan has 1.8 uh, Mach, which is approximately 500 kilometers per hour, much more than F-35. Also, the payload mm -hmm. carrying capacity, when we look at the weapon capacity, uh, F-35 with two outsider and two insider weapon stations can carry approximately two tons of ammunition. Uh, I think Khan will be able to carry three or four times more than F-35. Uh, other right. technological characteristics are similar when mm -hmm. we look at uh, little or no radar signature. So invisible pl uh, planes, these are fifth generation aircrafts. Right. Uh, and also well, it is a landmark moment indeed, as you mentioned, and Turkey has been quite ambitious in the defense and aviation sectors. And there are a lot of factors at play here. But you particularly mentioned the F-35s uh, and the U.S. kind of pushing Turkey out of the F-35 program. Did that on its own accelerate the process of bringing the Khan to where it is today? Uh, for sure, Evnan Han. I think uh, this point is a very good evaluation because every sanction uh, on Turkey usually uh, brings another research and development project together and it accelerates the development of other uh, capabilities, as we have already experienced last week, for example, in Anka 3 jet UAV case as well. So always all these sanctions do not promote the objectives which the countries already pushed. Uh, I, I think Turkey is a good example of, of this one. Uh, all these sanctions bring a rally around the flag effect, and it accelerates all other efforts to develop other national abilities. So this is correct. Indeed. Professor Ahmed Kesar, thank you so much for being with us here on the news hour. It's always a pleasure speaking to you.